This is an oil painting and it's on paper, specially prepared paper by Raymond Booth. And it's of a toad lily. And I suppose that this is because they have these spots. It's very interesting because it grows in waterfalls in Japan and um, it's obviously um, a sort of rather special plant for the Japanese. The water flows over it quite literally um, and I have seen it in Japan. Raymond Booth grew all the paintings, all the plants that he um, worked with for his Japanese book, um, which was called, and I'm just going to look it up, Japonica Magnifica. And he did that with a man called Don Ellick. And he grew the plants that he painted in Yorkshire. And I'm never quite sure how he managed to do that, but he did. So he, he was a Yorkshireman. He died in 2015. And I never met him, uh, sadly, but we communicated. And um, he went to the Leeds School of Art, which interestingly, my mother went to. Uh, and my mother went to Leeds School of Art just after Henry Moore had been there. So um, it's been a long established school of art. Um, I thought he was very good. Um, he always used oil. And one of the great advantages is that it comes over very strongly in illustration. So with a watercolor sometimes, very difficult to get a real punchy illustration, but he was always easy to uh, show very well in a book. I've got uh, several paintings of his, I think four in, in all. I've got a beautiful rose, which um, sh he shows where through the seasons, and it's brilliantly done. Initially, you just think, oh, it's a red rose. But when you look closer, you realize that the leaves have changed in the autumn for when he's showing that stage of the hips. And I thought it was a very beautiful work, and I show it, I've shown it a lot of times. But this one is interesting because it's a water plant, and it's going to be shown um, at Kew in the summer and with other water plants, and certainly is, it's drenched in water when it's flowering. <laughs>